many Many people get confused about um, what to do in peak week when in a competition prep phase. So, I'm about to show you. <laughs> there is so many methods and so many different terms that get thrown around during peak week. So, I'm basically going to tell you guys what I do and what I don't do during peak week. So some of you may have heard the terms um, such as carb loading, carb depleting, sodium loading, sodium depleting, water loading, water depleting, front loading, back loading. You know there's so many things that and so many terms that get thrown around during peak week. Um, which can get quite confusing. So something that I stay away from is manipulating my water and my sodium. Um, so I keep my water and my sodium exactly the same during peak week because messing with these things can actually make you look worse on comp day if not done right. Messing with these things you are messing with your health. So water and sodium loading and depleting can throw off your electrolyte balance and that's not particularly good for your health uh, many people try to water load and then water deplete to try and get rid of um, the water in their skin however our bodies hold water inside our muscle cells as well as outside of our muscle cells and by water depleting, you actually can't just water get rid of the water outside of your muscle cell. You end up getting rid of water inside of your muscle cell, which makes you look flat, flat, flat. Same as sodium. So many people try to load sodium and cut sodium to get rid of water. But um, if your body is used to a certain amount of um, sodium, then by you trying to trick your body into loading sodium and depleting sodium the end outcome is that you're the one that gets tricked because if your body's used to a certain amount of sodium it excretes a certain amount of sodium so messing with those two, those two things it's not really beneficial for you especially if you're a bikini competitor um, you shouldn't even be looking at doing things like that because bikini competitors aren't necessarily like shredded. So now let's look at carb loading and carb depleting. This can, uh, in some instance, help you look better, look tighter, um, and look fuller for your show. For bikini, however, I don't really carb load or carb deplete um, sometimes if I am not looking where I want to be looking um, then I do taper my carbs down which I might do depending on what coach says today so I did my check-in just before uh, but I'm pretty happy with how I'm looking so basically my peak week looks exactly the same as my other weeks because the old saying is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Peak week is not a week where you magically can lose 5 kilos. Ultimately, if you are not where you want to be before peak week, then you're probably not going to be ready for your show. Peak week is about maintaining, maybe getting a little bit tighter um, if you end up reducing your carbohydrates. But... It's not a week where you will magically lose like hundreds, not hundreds, but I'm, I'm exaggerating now. Lose a lot of kilos. So something that I do do during peak week, uh, diet-wise, obviously, like I just mentioned, I'm not changing much. The only thing with my diet is that... I do not introduce any new foods during peak week because that's potential bloating, that's potential water retention. If you end up getting a reaction to that food, 
there's not much that you can do um, if you end up getting a reaction to it. Uh, so normally when you do get a reaction, you tend to retain water and that is not what you want during peak week. Um, same as, so like I mentioned with my carbs, I might taper them down depending if I need to lose a little bit more. Um, but yeah, like I said, we will see what coach says. Um, another thing that I do is the day before comp and on comp day is I limit any high fiber foods. And the main reason for that is um, to limit my bloating. So one thing that I do change during my peak week is my training. Um, no major changes, it's just the intensity that gets reduced. So peak week training, uh, your main two focuses is just to stimulate your muscle cells so that you keep glycogen in the muscle cells um, and you keep water inside of the muscle cell. Um, you don't want to be doing really intense and aggressive workouts in your peak week because that ultimately will leave you feeling sore and um, inflamed. So during your peak week you obviously don't want, you're trying to limit water retention. So training for me, um, I will show you guys what my training program looks like in my peak week, but basically um, there is no failure, tra failure training, so I don't train to failure um, or anywhere near failure. Um, also, the intensity is reduced. And then um, two days out from show, I focus on full body circuits, really lightweight, um, just to stimulate the muscle cell. Um, so, oh, and cardio-wise as well. So in peak week, you do, it's not a week where you want to be adding in cardio or doing intense cardio um, to try and lose the extra couple of kilos um, because ultimately you should, like I mentioned before, you should already be close to where you want to be. So um, with cardio, you should actually be tapering it down as the week progresses. Um, same reason is that um, doing intense workout can lead to um, leaving you inflamed and that is not what you want in your peak week. I hope that in some sense uh, this has answered some of your questions. If you do have any other questions about peak week, please leave them below and I will answer them for you. But for now, stay tuned because the rest of this video is going to be about my peak week shenanigans. I'm going to take you through my peak week. So, enjoy. So just a little update, I just got um, an email back from Coach, um, so I wanted to update you guys on what he has asked me to do this peak week, um, which is actually different to what I thought I was going to be doing. So he basically, I thought that I would be carb depleting a little bit just to come in a bit tighter, so reducing my calories, but he has in fact said for me to... Um, keep my macros the same, so my macros that I've been doing for the past three or four weeks, I will be continuing to do them um, all the way up until Thursday, and then um, he actually has me, has increased my carbs on Friday and Saturday, which I'm so uber excited about, because carbs are life, and carbs means Nutella, and lots of rice cakes and that makes them very happy 
as far as a show day goes so show day will run a little bit different but I will be doing a separate uh, YouTube vlog for show day specifically because I feel like otherwise this is going to be way too long and um, there's going to be so much footage I hope from show day um, to show you guys so I will update you on show day as the day comes I'm so excited and I can't believe it is only five weeks. God, I think I just heard a knock at the door and if it is what I think it is, Previously, I actually haven't had a look at it yet, so I'm going to be opening it with you guys so I can share the excitement. Ah, ah. Alright, alright, I can't wait any longer, so well, it, looks, it looks like a little bit violent, I think, for anyone that walks past my window right now. The moment has come. How beautiful. Check out the details. I'm so excited. Seriously, for those who don't know, uh, Lovely is an Australian based um, swimwear designer, and I'm actually sponsored by her. And she is the most amazing woman that has ever created my bikini. So I am so excited. I actually did not know the colour or the style that I was going to get. Hence why I wanted to open it with you guys. But I'm like, you have outdone yourself, lovely. I absolutely love them. And I cannot wait to wear these beauties on stage. Oh. Just wanted to show you guys under a different lighting because that lighting does not do this bikini justice. When you're three days out and you are still eating the same food. You know what they say, if it ain't broke, why fix it? If this is what you've been eating and it's been working for you, why change it in the last week? We won't. So I just finished my final workout before comp, which was basically just a full body circuit. I'm glad it's my final workout because even though it was a light session, um, I did struggle quite a bit. My energy is bollocks at the moment. So looking forward to after I check in with coach tomorrow to find out whether I will be getting those extra carbs or not before show. But um, I do have the next two days off work. So Friday and Saturday. So I'm off work to do all the girly things before comp so I will be taking you guys along the ride to my tanning and my hair appointment so I will see you guys then when your tan is tomorrow and you have to shave the whole body so I have actually never shaved my whole body before um, getting my tan done but I have been told that um, your tan comes on a lot nicer so I'm giving it a go and shaving my whole body except I'm not too sure how I'm going to shave my back good morning you guys it is Friday today so two days out from comp um, I just woke up, so excuse my morning face and my morning voice. 
I just wanted to check in. So I just sent off my uh, photos to coach um, and just waiting to hear back to see if I get the extra calves today. So 175 grams instead of the 135 that I normally have or whether he thinks I need to come in tighter and he'll reduce my calves. So waiting to find out and when I do, I will let you know. Until then, coffee. My client just dropped off my pack and I will be number 86. How cute is this robe? Absolutely love it. If you're at the show, this will be me. So we are off to get my white self tanned up. When your petrol is flashing, but you look like a Chico baby. So just got my tan. Oop. Got my tan done. It's actually a lot darker than it looks because this light is making it look white dark. And I still have a half an hour drive home and I'm not getting out of the car like this in my pajay days. Yeah. Hopefully the petrol lasts until I get home. Good morning! It is Saturday today so one day out from show. I have washed off um, the bronzer from my tan and we'll be getting my top coat at the competition but pretty happy with how it's turned out currently on the way to get my extensions put in so we'll say goodbye to my short hair for a little bit and i'm going with mama bear <laughs> but i will show you guys what they look like when i finish Nutella and rice cake. Meat getting fabulous. <laughs> going to end my peak week vlog there um, tomorrow is a show day so I will keep that for the next vlog otherwise this one is going to go way too long I think I've already I think I'm already up to like 20 minutes um, love 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 my hair they did such an amazing job with it um, feels weird to have long hair again but I have definitely missed my long hair. Um, so tomorrow's show day. I'm really excited. I'm nervous. Um, it's going to be an amazing and fun filled day and I can't wait not just to get on stage but just to meet um, all the other competitors because backstage is filled with so much inspiration and motivation and I can't wait to be a part of that. Um, I was going to say placing or no placing, um, but obviously placing would be awesome. Uh, it's not my main show, so this show um, doesn't really matter if I place or don't place. Um, mainly, am doing, mainly I'm doing it just to get judges' feedback on how I am looking at the moment so that I bring my best package in three weeks' time for the Pro Qualifier, which is the one that I have been aiming for to get my pro card so anyway i will see you guys tomorrow or in my next vlog good night <laughs> <Bye. laughs>